Master had told me one day that I'd find peace in every way. Though I search for a clue, wrong things I was bound to do. You gotta stop. All right, you guys, this is the last day of Kwanzaa. Yes, it is. And our song for the day is to keep your head to the sky by Earth, Wind, and Fire. Um, because today's principle is Imani, which is our faith. To believe with all our hearts and all our people and the righteousness and the victory of our struggle. Our faith. So keep your head to the sky. And the thought for the day is the poem by Margaret Walker. And it's called For My People. Um, For My People by Margaret Walker. For my people everywhere singing their slave songs repeatedly. Their dars and their ditties and their blues, their jubilees, praying their prayers nightly to an unknown God, bending their knees humbly to an unseen power. For my people, lending their strength to the years, to the gone years, and to the now years, and to the maybe years, washing, ironing, cooking, scrubbing, sewing, mending, hoeing, plowing, digging, planting, pruning, patching, digging, Alone, never gaining, never reaping, never knowing, and never understanding. For my playmates in the clay, in the dust, and the sand of Alabama, backyards, playing, baptizing, and preaching the doctor in the jail, and the soldier in the school, and mama and cooking in the playhouse, and the concert, and the store, and hair, Miss Cumby and Company. For the cramped, bewildered years, we went to school to learn. To know the reasons why and the answers to and the people who and the places where and the days when in memory of bitter hours when we discovered we were black and poor and small and different and nobody cared and nobody wondered and nobody understood. For boys and girls who grew up in spite of these things had to be a man and woman to laugh and dance and sing play and drink their wine and religious and success to marry their playmates and to bear children and then die of consumption, anemia, and lynching. For my people thronging 47th Street in Chicago and Lenox Avenue in New York on Rapper Street and in New Orleans lost, disinherited, dispossessed, and happy people filling the cabarets and taverns and other people's pockets needing bread and shoes and milk and land and money and sometimes something all our own. For my people, walking blindly, spreading joy, losing time, being lazy, sleeping when hungry, shouting when burdened, drinking when hopeless. Tied and shackled and tangled among ourselves by the unseen creatures who tower over us and laugh. For my people, blundering and grouping and floundering in the dark churches and schools and clubs and societies, associations and councils and committees and conventions, distressed and disturbed and deceived and devoured by money-hungry, glory-craving leeches. Preyed on by facile force of state and fan and novelty, by the false prophets and the holy believers. For my people, standing and staring and trying to fashion a better way from confusion, from hypocrisy and misunderstanding, trying to fashion a world that will hold all the people, all the faces, all the Adams and all the Eves in their countless generations. Let a new earth rise. Let another world be born. Let a bloody peace be written in the sky. Let a second generation full of courage 
issue forth. Let a people loving freedom come forth to grow. Let a beauty full of healing and strength and final clenching be the pulsing in our spirits and in our blood. Let the marital songs be written. Let the diaries disappear. Let a race of men now rise and take control. Beautiful. Margaret Walker. For my people. Margaret Walker was born in Birmingham, Alabama in 1915. She was the first African-American poet to receive the Yale Younger Poets Prize. She was the author of For My People, Yale University Press, 1942. This was a beautiful poem, For My People. Mm. Yes, yes. And knowing this, Knowing this can allow you to focus on that principle. Allow you to focus on your faith. So today's recipe is going to be spicy vinegar for those of us who've never heard of this. Um, it's a um, I guess easy to prepare. Um, it's a, a carrot scraped, a small half inch piece of fresh ginger, four branches of thyme, three cloves of garlic, a small piece of habanero or other hot chili, or to taste, and a pint of cider vinegar. Ooh, you're going to cut the carrots into thin strips and place them in the bottle. Add the remaining ingredients into the bottle. Pour in the vinegar and cork. Allow the vinegar to stand for one week. One week now. No, not before. And then you use, then use as you wish. The intensity of the chili will increase over time. And it becomes... Spicier and spicier. Wow. Um, this easy prepared recipe is a wonderful gift for friends who cook. It also adds a bit of taste to any soup or mixed greens. You will need a decorative pint uh, bottle, scald it, and a cork. You can scald the bottle by running it through the dishwater. Okay, you guys? The dishwasher, I'm sorry. And again, today's principle is Imani. And the Imani means faith. Your faith. And how about the, uh, the kids, their, their activity for the day? And one thing about Kwanzaa, the, uh, when you start to incorporate it into your family, it becomes very exciting because the kids get to celebrate more than one day. And it becomes something that they can pass on to their families as they grow. It's tradition. It's more than just a one day celebration. You're creating tradition. Habarigani, Hamani is your faith. Um, you know, here's some faith facts. Okay, and again, Amani is the seventh principle, the last principle of the day. This principle reminds us to have faith and believe in all our hearts, in ourselves, our people, our family, our teachers, and our leaders that we can overcome all challenges and be victorious in the fights for justice and equality. What letters uh, do you uh, can you remember on the pens? When Barack Obama was running for president, he had a bunch of pens that said, yes, we can. And it encouraged people to have faith that he and the positive things he stood for could win no matter what his color, his skin was. And guess what, y'all? He did it. He did it. Barack Obama became the first black president. Now, 
Tell me something, honeys. What is something that you believe you could do and you did it? It's very important. Get the kids to engage in that conversation. The Kwanzaa principles of Imani tells us how important it is to have faith so we can do amazing things and make the world a better place for everyone. Even when you can't see exactly how something will work out with faith, you believe it will. Through an African American, though African Americans had never become had become president of the United States before, Barack Obama, African Americans, and so many others believed that it could happen. So in 2008, the people practiced Imani. They worked together and voted to elect Barack Hussein Obama as the 44th president of these United Snakes of America. Oh, states of America. So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed our um, Kwanzaa seven-day principle. Shout out to everybody that's celebrating Kwanzaa. We love you. Try to bring these principles into your home. And once you incorporate them into your family and into your life, you'll celebrate and you will live these principles in your life by habit. And that is the true meaning of Kwanzaa. To live these principles every single day. In your life. And in your heart. And in your soul. So, happy Kwanzaa everybody. See you next year.